Hi, my name is Doug, and this is my video for week one of the Coursera course on music production. I'm going to do uh, techniques for recording an acoustic instrument. Now, I've chosen the, uh, an acoustic guitar because that's what I normally play. And uh, I did some research this week and, and was trying to get to the, to the, the real bones of, of what, it, what it takes to record an acoustic instrument. And I came to the realization that it's, it's a bit of an art. If I was to hold up a, a Picasso and a Rembrandt and, and ask you which, which of these painters did it right, you would probably say, well, both of them did it right, but they're so different. Um, how could they have both done it right? Well, they were, they were, they had different goals. They had different ideas in mind. And when we're making music, we all have different ideas of what that music should sound like. And with microphone placement, you can use that to express those different ideas. What's useful to know are the, the tools to get to the, the ideas that you want. And so as I talk about microphone placement, just keep that in mind that it's there's not so much a right way to do things as there is different ways to do things to, to achieve the goals that you're looking for. Now, the most common types of microphones to use would be a condenser microphone uh, because they have a, a bit better range than a, than a dynamic microphone would have. But try a dynamic mi microphone. See what happens. See, maybe, maybe that's a sound that you're looking for or that sound would work in some capacity somewhere. Um, another important factor is where you put the microphone. A microphone closer to the sound hole next to the bridge will give a different sound than one placed up by the fretboard. And maybe you want this sound or you want that sound or you want some combination. If you, can, if you have enough to use two microphones, that's great. And if you only have one microphone, find the spot that, that gives you the sound that you're looking for. Another consideration is the spacing, how far away the microphone is. The closer to the guitar you put the microphones, the more you're going to get just the dry guitar sound. But perhaps you have a really nice space that you're working in and, and you want that kind of a sound. Um, oftentimes when, when I play an acoustic instrument, there'll be different places, different spaces that I enjoy playing it more because of the sound of the room. And you might want that in your recording. So if you back the microphones off a little bit, you'll get more of that sound. I was reading through some forums and I, I found a guy who likes to record uh, acoustic instruments in his bathroom because of the, the sound that his bathroom gives. Uh, and, and that's the sound that he's looking for. Um, another Another uh, mic placement technique that I, that I found is to put one over top of the shoulder of the acoustic guitarist because as a, an acoustic guitarist, I am playing to my ear and um, a microphone up here will pick up sort of what I hear and the kind of sounds that I'm trying to make out of my guitar, which would be different than the sounds that microphones in front or, or uh, an audience in front would, would, would hear. So as, as we're thinking about recording techniques and, and things, I think the important thing to remember is that is it's an art and we're trying to express something. We're trying to convey something to the listener. And, and I liked what uh, uh, Loudon Stern said today in, or this week in one of the lectures that um, as, you're, as you're doing this, you use the ear test. Find the spot that sounds good. Maybe this spot sounds good. Maybe this one spot sound, sounds good. Maybe it's a different spot altogether. Um, experiment. Find find the place that that gives the sound and the feel that you're that you're looking for. But know that that um, the more you know about the different techniques, about you know what kind of a sound this will give compared to this one. This will be a a boomier sound because it's closer to the sound hole. This one will be a thinner sound. Because it's it's away from the sound hole, you know, 
know that if you're looking for that boomy sound, I should I should experiment it over here. If I'm looking for more of a, a room sound, I should back the mic off. You know, know what the the different sounds will get you generally, and you can go from there. Maybe this exact spot's not perfect, but if I move it over here or down or up, you know, it's a little more difficult um, if you're just recording yourself, but. Um, you can still do that just by, you know, you move your own guitar around rather than the microphone and, and find a spot that's good for you. So I know this wasn't so much a, a video of getting down into the nitty gritty of the technique, but I really wanted to uh, to build on some of the philosophy that I felt Loudon was, was giving us in his lectures this week um, and, and say that, you know, there's not a right way to do it, but... Uh, find the way that gets the sound that you're looking for and uh, and I think you'll be happy with that thanks <laughs>